it's it's frighteningly prevalent. And yeah, you allude to a great point. There are so many districts. And I think back to 2021 when Governor Yunkin was running for election mm -hmm. and parents were being told they were being gaslit by the mainstream media. This is critical race theory is not being taught in colleges. This is a college level theory. And students schools would say, you know, we're doing culturally responsive teaching. We're doing belonging. We're doing inclusivity. And I mean, I think, you know, you could call it like, you know, magical unicorn theory. At the end of the day, what you are doing is you're teaching students to identify themselves and others on the basis of immutable characteristics and to treat other people accordingly. Um, I think that's it's something that's appalling. It's something that should not be happening with our tax laws and something that when you look at polling, really the majority of Americans across racial lines, across political lines, deeply oppose. That's not what we want our kids to do when they get to school. You have our children for eight hours a day. So how dare you do those things? And you know, even I think back to the Students for Fair Admissions case of the Supreme Court, in the wake of that, um, you know, so many of these programs, yeah, all right, fine, we're not going to do DEI anymore. Now we're going to do the latest acronym I saw was JEDI, Justice, uh, Equity, Diversity and Inclusion. I mean, like, again, I don't, I don't care what you call it. Stop doing these things to start with.